In the last video, we saw how we can navigate throughout our application using the Prism iNavigation service interface. But now, the big question is, how in the heck do you pass parameters around? How do we get data from one view or view model to the target view or view model? Hi, I'm Brian Lagunas, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can pass navigation parameters in your Prism application. So let's go ahead and get started. This video is sponsored by Infragistix, fast and beautiful UI controls and time-saving tools for developers and UX pros. They really do provide the fastest path to amazing experiences. If you're looking for the fastest grids and charts on the market, or just looking for some new modern components to spruce up your application, look no further. Give Infragistix a try. Open up your favorite web browser, navigate to bit.ly slash prism infragistix, and tell them that Prism sent you. The more people that use this link, the more videos that I get to record. So let's give Infragistix a big thank you, visit their site, and check out their products. The application we're gonna be working with today is a very simple Xamarin Forms application that has two pages. It has a main page and a view A. Each of these pages look identical. They'll each have a label that binds to a title and they'll each have a button that performs a navigation action. When the app first launches, we're gonna to navigate to the main page, which is wrapped in a navigation page. I actually have the app running now, so we can take a look at that. So here's the app. We're on main page. We're gonna to navigate to view A. We're on view A. We can go back to main page using either the, the button or we can hit the software or hardware back button. Now that we see how the app is running, let's go ahead and start passing parameters. So our goal is when we're navigating right here from the main page view model, we wanna pass some parameters to the target page, which is view A. So in order to do that, we need to do three steps. The first step is to create the parameters. The way we do that is we'll say var p equals new navigation parameters. The navigation parameters object is essentially a dictionary, if you will, that contains a collection of key value pairs. So I can say, Parameters dot add. We want to add the key, which we'll say is our title, and then the value, which is a type object. So this could be anything you want. In this case, it's going to be a string. We'll say hello from main page. Now to pass these parameters, we're simply going to pass the parameter object as a parameter to the navigation async method call. So you can see here we have uh, a way to pass an I navigation parameters. So we'll just pass P as that value. Now, I wanna pause here for a minute. This is just one way to create the parameters. Another way to create parameters, we'll just copy and paste this just for fun. Another thing we can do is we can create them based off a stream because remember, Prism uses a URI based navigation scheme. So I can say, you know, ID, equals one and name equals Brian and color equals blue. So I could either add them individually here by adding them to the collection, or I could just straight up create the navigation parameters and pass in a string representation of what those parameter lists would be. Keep in mind though, that every value in here would be a string as opposed to using this approach where you can actually have different data types. Now, another thing we can do with parameters is when you create your parameters, you can also append them using the question mark because this is an HTTP URI based schema and then do it this way. Brian ID equals Brian and color equals blue. You get the idea. So you have multiple ways to create parameters. I also want to note that if you do this, let's say you create navigation parameters object and you also append navigation parameters to your target view name and pass in your parameters object, these will be combined into a single object. So when you do get these parameters, they'll all be in one list. Okay, so just keep that in mind. For now, we'll just stick to the basic creating the navigation parameters object and adding the parameters to the collection and then passing them into the navigate async method. Step two to passing parameters in a Prism application is 
getting the parameters. How do we get access to the parameters? So let's go to our target view, which is view a view model. Now, the way we get access to these, these parameters is we're gonna implement the I navigation aware interface. What this is going to do is this is going to provide us three methods. These methods, on navigated from, on navigated to, on navigating to. Now, on navigated from says whenever I navigate away from this view or view model, this is when that method would be called. On navigating to is invoked when the view slash view model is created but has not been added to the navigation stack yet. And then on navigated to is after everything's been created, initialized, and the page has been added to the navigation stack, okay? So this is how you get access to the parameters. Now, step three to parameters in Prism Navigation is to get the parameter value. The way we do that is I'm going to set the title equal to parameters.getValue string and then the key. So let's go ahead and run the application. So here's the application. We're gonna to navigate to view A and we see hello from main page. We can go back. And since we don't have any type of inputs changing it, it's always gonna be the same value. But you can see that when we navigated from main page, we passed that string title, hello from main page to our view model. We read in the value. We got the value from the parameters collection and we set our property, which updated the binding and poof, like magic. Now, I also wanna mention a few things you can do with the parameters once you have them. In this specific example, I'm saying get value type of string. In some cases, you may wanna check for, you know, if parameters.contains key, like, you know, does this contain the title key in the first place? Or you may have to say var equals parameters index of title, and we can say as string, because maybe, maybe something can be null, right? Maybe something's allowed to be null, and then you could check, you know, hey, if this is null, do something. We also have the ability to do a try get value. You can see the signature here, we'll just say string. You have your key and then your alt value. So there are a few options available to you to reading or getting the parameters out of the iNavigation parameters collection. Now, one more thing I wanna mention before we end this video is not only can you call the iNavigation aware interface methods on the view model itself, but if we go to the view, the view can also implement iNavigation aware using Prism. We'll go ahead and implement the interface. Let's go ahead and just, we don't wanna have any exceptions being thrown. And I'm just gonna hit a break point right here. So let's go ahead and run the application. Okay, the application's running. I'm gonna to navigate to view A, and the expectation is we're going to hit the view iNavigation aware implementation as well. So that's pretty cool, okay? So if you ever need to know from the view or the view model when navigation is occurring, you can use the iNavigation aware interface to do that. And that's how easy it is to pass parameters when you're navigating throughout your Prism application. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you're notified when more videos like this are published. And thanks for watching.